If you're new to computers or you don't particularly care about them because they're just a thing that you do homework on or occasionally browse Facebook with, then it can be quite a daunting process to buy a new one because there are so many specifications to take into account and it's not always clear which ones are important. So today I'm going to tell you what to look for. Now in my opinion, the most important thing to look for when buying a new computer is whether or not it has something called an SSD in it. Now an SSD is just a type of hard drive, but it makes a very big difference to the actual performance of your laptop or PC. Now before we go any further, let's just do a brief explanation about the difference between a normal hard drive and an SSD and why you should care about which one you have. Now a normal hard drive stores information on these spinning metal discs. They're almost like a metal CD. And then it has these little arms which stretch onto these discs to read and write information. What this means is there's an actual mechanical process involved when looking for information on this hard drive. Whereas an SSD, basically just think of an SSD like a big thumb drive or USB drive or whatever you call it. Now an SSD has a couple of advantages over a normal hard drive. The first one is that an SSD is a lot faster, and this is very important. An SSD is also very quiet. Because it doesn't have any moving parts in it, it doesn't make the weird squeaking and clicking noises of a normal hard drive. And considering the fact that it doesn't have any moving parts, it also makes it a lot more durable than a normal hard drive. Because if you have a normal hard drive in a laptop and you move it around while it's running, any vibrations on the hard drive could actually cause the little arms to scratch the metal discs, which could lose you data and break the hard drive. Whereas in SSD, you could watch YouTube while being launched into space on a rocket and the vibrations wouldn't cause any damage. Although don't take this too literally, because if you do drop your laptop on like concrete or down on a stairwell, it's still going to break, although the SSD might not. And then the final advantage of an SSD is that it uses less power than a normal hard drive, so it could actually help with the battery life of your laptop. Now I know you might be thinking, SSDs sound awesome, and why don't all devices have SSDs in them? Well there is one big disadvantage to SSDs, and it's the fact that they cost a lot more than a normal hard drive. In fact, for the price of a 250 gig SSD, you can buy a 1 terabyte normal hard drive drive. But believe me, having an SSD as the primary storage in your computer or laptop makes a huge difference in the day-to-day -day usability of the device. For example, it makes your laptop boot much faster. And what we mean by that is the time it takes from pressing the on button to having your laptop actually be usable. Now let me give you an example of the difference that it makes. If you've ever had to click on an icon and wait ages for the thing to load, it's probably because you don't have an SSD in your device. Look at this, look at how amazing Amazingly quickly this computer responds. The moment you click on a thing, it happens. It honestly makes the process of using a computer much less frustrating. Now the reason an SSD makes such a big difference is because all of the components in your computer have to work together to finish every task that you give them. And if one of those components is slower than the rest of them, the other components have to wait for the slower part, and that's actually called a bottleneck. Now because of how old and outdated a normal hard drive is, it will always be a bottleneck compared to modern components. And that's why an SSD is so important. The rest of the PC doesn't have to wait for it. Now with all of the explaining out of the way, we're going to look at two types of people and what they should be looking at when buying a computer. Now the first example is Steve. Steve doesn't particularly care about his computer. He just uses it to browse the internet, maybe do some homework on it, and the occasional bit of word processing. Now in my opinion, the most important component Steve should be looking at when buying a new computer is whether or not it has an SSD in it. Because an SSD directly impacts the performance of all of the applications that he uses. However, there are a couple things you should look for. If the laptop has less than eight gigs of RAM, it may not be the best. And if it says Celeron anywhere on it, you should run for your life, unless you have a very, very limited budget. Now I think the best way for Steve to go about buying a laptop in a normal shop is by going up to the salesperson, telling them what your budget is and which of the laptops in the shop has an SSD in it for that budget. 
And then if the salesman starts talking to you about how much better an i7 is for browsing Facebook than an i5, smack him in the mouth and ask him to leave you alone. Just have a look at which one looks the nicest and feels the most well made. And then once you find one which you like the most, Google its name. And by name, I don't mean just Google Asus. Google the most specific name that you can find. So for Dell, for example, it'll be something like an XPS 15 or an Inspirion 9750. Google that name with review tacked to the end of it and see if there are any particularly negative reviews about that device. And if there aren't, buy it and enjoy it. But if there is, try and look for a different option. Or if Steve wants to buy a laptop on the internet, all he has to do is Google best mm dollar laptop and then buy the one which suits his fancy. Now, if you do have any questions about this process, do ask me in the comment section below. I'm more than happy enough to help out. Now our second example for today is gonna to be Nancy. Now Nancy is new to the gaming world and she doesn't have a very big budget, but she wants a very good value for money PC. Now what I would say to Nancy is that an SSD is still very important, but it's not going to directly affect any of their gaming performance. The games will load faster, but you're not gonna have any higher frame rates because of an SSD. What graphics card and processor the device has in is also very important. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video specifically about what graphics card and processor to buy for a specific budget. In my opinion, the best way to go about deciding which components to buy for your gaming computer, especially if you have a very limited budget, is to spec out an SSD first of all and then choose the other components. For example, I recently did a $370 PC build where I did exactly that. If you want to check out that video, I'll have it linked in the description below. And if you're unsure about any component choices, always Google that specific component with the word review tag to the end of it. If there are any negative reviews, look at what alternatives they recommend and go with that instead. But if everyone says that it's great, then you've made the right choice. Anyway, with that, it brings me to the end of this video. If you liked it and you think that it will help anybody else in your family, do show them this video if they're in the market for a new computer. If you liked the video, do like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye-bye.